Hi there, my name is Andrew Renko and this is Studio Cutty Records and today we're going to talk about the formats, audio compression formats in Unity uh, which are Vorbis, uh, PCM and MP3. I will not talk about ADPCM because it's just cursed. Um, I talked about and tested it in my uh, previous video so if you want just uh, type search uh, unity on my uh, youtube channel and you will see those so about these formats the question was uh, how do they perform so the first part will be about testing and testing is pretty pretty boring so i created 50 pieces which are the same files but uh, unity doesn't know that unity sees 50 files as 50 files so then what i did i loaded those 50 files in uh, 50 audio sources and uh, then i played them simultaneously i just uh, picked play and awake and looping um, so each of these uh, game objects contains 10 audio sources which will play uh, when I start uh, when I start to play the game so uh, uh, how so we now hear the sound with the, some processing so what I did I lower the volume for obvious reasons we have 50 sounds playing simultaneously so i lowered the volume also i did uh, low pass filter i can actually do it lower um, it doesn't matter all i did this for is to measure the uh, the DSP CPU, which uh, I wanted to know how much power CPU needs to waste on one single uh, DSP processing effect. So we have this information now. So that's basically it. Then I just uh, select all these uh, files and I will change their uh, format for, for example to PCM and I will click apply and now while they are compressing you see that low type is streaming why is that streaming because a profiler in unity has uh, for, for the audio has this streaming CPU which means the CPU power that is spent on uh, decompressing those files, audio files that are streamed. So these files are not saved into RAM. Uh, it streams straight out from the hard drive. But basically I chose it only because it has the separate uh, percentage graph of CPU performance. So let's just check out how this looks. If we click play, all 50 sounds are playing, playing audio sources, 50. Uh, so total audio CPU is 2%. It froze now. We need to click that. No, it doesn't help. For some reason. Okay, let's me restart this okay it works well now so total audio cpu is two percent dsp audio is one percent uh, streaming cpu 0.5 percent so this stuff is mentioned in here pcm streaming uh, audio source is playing 50 in all our examples it will be 50 audio sources total audio uh, CPU needed is 2, streaming 0 0.5, and DSP CPU is 1%. So DSP actually will be 1% throughout all these tests. So yeah, now we know. 
that uh, this P is completely separate thing. It should work th this way actually, but I just needed to test this out. So we will see the uh, file format, its quality, uh, streaming is the only setting that I use in all these tests. Then we will see total audio CPU usage, streaming CPU usage, and DSP CPU usage. And then we will also look at the size, before and after size in megabytes, and compress uh, compression ratio. So I don't really want to bore you with uh, this stuff I did. So just like that, we see next is MP3, 100%. We go MP3, 100%, click apply. It applies the compression to all the files. And after that, we need to start the, let me check the recording. It records, it's good. Okay, now it finished, we just start, it plays, now it's MP3s, and we check the total audio uh, CPU, it's like 10, 10.2 maybe. Uh, the bad thing with Unity profile, Profiler that it doesn't actually give you the average over time uh, number so you need to just guess which is the average you just need to look at this number numbers in real time and you just need to try to calculate the average so i uh, calculated the average of 10 uh, then dsp is the same one percent and streaming uh, cpu oh it froze now because i clicked on it okay but i actually uh, measured 8.5 uh, percentage uh, of CPU usage for streaming. Then we set the 31%, which is the quality that uh, I recommend everyone to use with MP3, because uh, this quality ensures that you use the uh, all the frequency range that uh, is important for us human beings. And as I told in my previous videos, MP3 wins its file size by cutting the uh, frequency content. Uh, but it actually, at very low bit rates, it, it can actually cut the frequency content that is important for us. But it just does that. And 31 is the perfect setting at which uh, MP3 saves all the important f frequencies for us and uh, the quality is the best uh, this setting it's like perfect balance between size file size and the quality so 31 is uh, all that i recommend to use to everyone so at 31 we just do the same test but uh, i will not proceed this test we will just uh, check the tables that we have in here in excel so we have the results of 31% uh, uh, streaming MP3. This is 7.8. Uh, so it started to take less of CPU. I think that this is based on how MP3 works. Once again, it cuts the higher frequencies. So uh, at 100% at it will save uh, most of high frequencies but at 31 it already cut out most of frequencies that we don't hear and left only the frequencies that we uh, people care about so that's why i guess uh, despite the fact that file size is getting uh, smaller the compression is getting higher but uh, the amount of CPU power is also decreasing um, and if we check the mp3 one percent it de decreases even more despite the fact that I thought that the higher compression will need more CPU power but I guess uh, it depends on the frequency content that is left uh, after this all, all of this uh, frequency cutting that mp3 does so at 1% we can see 6.5, uh, 
uh, actually, I, I will not really look at this 1%. This was just for scientific interest, but uh, it has no meaning to us because we will never use 1% because it's just unusable for most sounds. So 31% is the best setting for MP3, the best balance. And we see that uh, it compresses pink noise quite nicely. 6% from original file size. This is very good. So now let's jump to Warbis. So Warbis streaming at 100%. Uh, Warbis gives us huge load on our central processor and 18% uh, total CPU usage is just huge. Streaming 16.7. Uh, humongous. And uh, the compression ratio is not that big to, you know, to compensate for that huge CPU usage. But that is 100% uh, quality. Nobody will ever use Warbus at 100% quality. At least I will not use it at 100% because uh, Warbus actually does a great job for most sounds in 1%. For most sounds. It can be tricky with uh, frequency rich content, but for most sounds, it will do just great with 1%. It will have very good uh, uh, compression ratio. And the simpler the sound is, the more space uh, Vorbis will help you to save. So you need to I mean, you, you can think about this. So, uh, Vorbis 100% uh, uh, streaming is basically unusable. Uh, I need to say that most of the sounds in games are probably used with the setting, which is called uh, decompress on load. So files are, when, when a game is booting, uh, files are uh, instantly became became decompressed and saved in RAM. Um, but uh, I chose streaming because it uh, allowed me to actually measure the constant CPU usage of these uh, formats because, you know, decompress and load, it's one time thing. Uh, you just load one file, it's decompressed, it's done. Nothing else to process. So, in uh, you know, in uh, most cases, there will be no difference in CPU uh, usage between MP3 and Warbis unless you are streaming. And uh, we can actually see that uh, 7.8. 8.2, it's not far away from each other, not far away. Uh, Warbis has a little bit more CPU usage, but it has also uh, more file size uh, saved, I mean, more, more space saved. The ratio of compression is better. And like I said before, Warbis will do just great at 1% at most times. Uh, so, I included Warbis 31% just uh, to compare it to MP3 31%, but uh, these codecs just are different. They work differently. Warbis tries to save all the frequency content while MP3 tries to cut out as much of uh, high frequencies as possible. They are very different in that uh, realm. So, uh, yeah. This is just like meaningless, <laughs> just like the MP3 1% is meaningless as well. Uh, but what is not meaningless, I think, is Warbis 40%. So you will want to use Warbis for loopable audio because uh, uh, Warbis is the format that allows you to loop uh, music and special effects, special effects uh, perfectly they will loop perfectly. MP3 does not allow you to do that. So uh, if you use Vorbis for 
uh, looping music it's awesome but if this music is uh, very harmonically rich if you uh, pick uh, the setting of one percent quality for verbs with uh, frequency intensive music it will uh, most certainly introduce some artifacts and 40 percent in my tests uh, which i actually did off camera uh, i met this number in uh, different uh, articles about uh, compression formats in unity uh, and now i actually find out by myself that uh, vorbis 40 percent is the best setting if you have like if you worried about any uh, any artifacts in your audio if it's frequency uh, rich like pink noise that's what i've tested it on pink noise so 40 percent worked amazingly it uh, fully i mean it given me the best quality that can be possible uh, so I can't hear the difference between 40% and 100% quality. Uh, so if you want to be safe, use 40% Vorbis. So uh, the final conclusion, the final results of this test. I think that for non-loopable sound effects and music, MP3 31% quality is the best way to go. Also, MP3 looks like uh, it gives the least frequencies artifacts possible. So if you have some clean signals, MP3 uh, looks like uh, to be the best in this realm because uh, it has not added additional harmonics in my tests. Warbis did it a little bit worse. So. Uh, mp3 probably performs better because it cuts uh, the frequency content about 16 kilohertz in this 31 percent setting it does that uh, and fewer frequencies to process means more cpu power to save that's why probably the mp3 31 percent did really well uh, the compression ratio is good the sound quality is very good and the uh, processor usage is very nice very nice so uh, if we compare this uh, mp3 uh, 31 percent is the safest spot right in mp3 so vorbis 40 percent is the safest spot as well in vorbis realm so if we compare two of these uh, codex we see that the cpu usage of warbis is higher so and actually compression ratio is uh, also worse so mp3 31 percent looks like a great setting great codec to use on most of the non-loopable sound effects and music so at the same time, we need to say that Warbis tries to save all the high frequencies uh, that we have, but we don't actually need all, all of the high frequencies that it tries to save, unfortunately. Uh, so that's why MP3 is better optimized for that scenarios and gives us better perform performance with less file size. So that's that. But for loopable SFX and music, use or uh, Vorbis. The quality setting should be picked based on the content you work with. That's what I talk with you, talked with you about. Uh, for example, Vorbis works just fine with most SFX, even at 1% of quality setting. Though, if you have very frequencies rich content, They'll, then you'll probably hear the unpleasant artifacts that Vorbis will bring to your audio at 1% uh, of quality. So if you, hear, uh, if you hear any artifacts, I recommend going to a 40% quality setting as to a safe spot. 
This setting worked amazingly in my pink noise tests, so that means it will be just fine for any type of content you will feed into it, because uh, there is just no other frequency reach content like pink noise. Pink noise is just straight out uh, noise all over the spectrum. It's like constant noise at one uh, level all over the frequency range. Uh, so 40% is the best setting to save all the uh, quality of your audio. About other formats like PCM and ADPCM, I think that nobody should use PCM but because it's just too big for modern world realities. Uh, if you want to use it though, you need to know that it loops perfectly, that is a good thing, and it has the less, uh, the least impact on CPU performance. So you can easily use it with such low types as streaming and compressed in memory, because it will not bother your CPU at all. Uh, actually it will, but uh, the percentage is very low. Uh, about ADPCM, I didn't even include it in my comparison because it's just horrible, it messes up, up the sounds a lot and I don't trust in it at all. Uh, Unity documentation says that this format is useful for sounds that contain a fair bit of noise and that is true. You can try to use it with the... I mean, that is... Uh, that was uh, what Unity says, it means that you need to use it with really like noisy sounds. Frequency rich sounds means noisy sounds. So if you'll try to use it with clean tones in your audio, uh, be sure that ADPCM will just add a ton of noise to your audio, the noise that was never in there. So be careful, I've warned you. Don't use ADPCM. Uh, also, I didn't say anything about this bad boys, which is sample rate settings, preserve sample rate, optimize sample rate, override sample rate. I think that you should always use preserve sample rate, always. Because uh, I tried in my previous videos, you can check this out, that I tried uh, to use optimize sample rate and it really messed with the audio and introduced a lot of artifacts into it. So I don't recommend anyone to use uh, anything but preserve sample rate. And that's basically it. I was uh, wanting to make this comparison for such a long time. Uh, I know that like few, few people will watch this video, but uh, I'm doing this uh, mostly for myself, so I could just watch through it one time, some sometimes, uh, and to see my results, to remember them forever, and to use it for my advantage in my audio audio activity. So that's it. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, be sure to ask them in the comments. Bye.